Can you come here, ma'am? All right, so you're going to receive a ticket for being in the park after hours. All right? Just need to sign right here on the X. Are you going to sign it? No, because I want your badge okay, number. That's fine. You want to put your hands behind your back for me? How am I being arrested? Huh? Resist. What are you taking her for? Why are you blowing it out? Put All right, Uncle Junior, need you to take on another video. But before that, as always, welcome back to the folks tuning in and welcome to the first timers. No doubt, nephew, welcome to another Uncle Junior episode. Be sure to drop a comment, hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Now, what video are we taking on today, nephew? The defiant woman versus the officer, Uncle Junior. How not to behave when dealing with the police. Uh oh. Now, sounds like somebody's behavior didn't bode well for them, huh, nephew? That's right, Uncle June. This young lady's behavior was a prime example of how not to act when being cited by the police. Well, all right. Well, some people just have to learn the hard way. So let's get into it. What's going on? How y'all doing? Hello. All right. Well, I see the Ohio time. I'm not sure if y'all from here or not, but you can't be inside the park in the city of Atlanta between hours 11 p.m. 6 a.m. Oh, okay. You got your IDs on you? Mm -hmm. You have your IDs on you? Yes. I'm gonna need them. All right, sir, like I explained to you, uh, you can't be in the park at night. Everyone's just gonna receive a uh, simple ticket stating that uh, he was in the park at the hour. All right, I need you to sign right on the X. Where am I signing on? Is it, is it a charge or anything? Or uh, just it's just a ticket. Sign and go to jail. It's this one here. This one here. Come over here for me, ma'am. Can you come here, ma'am? All right, so you're going to receive a ticket for being in the park after hours. All right? Just need to sign right here on the X. But because we're out of, didn't you say we were out of time so we wouldn't have known that? Yeah, but that's, that's not a valid reason why. You should be in the park because you're from out of town. And what's your back <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, we know which way this is about to go, don't we, folks? <laughs> the turning of her back to that police officer was the shot across the bow. Now, unlike the young man, this young lady, now, she is not about cooperating. We can tell, can't we? <laughs> But I got a feeling she is about to regret here real soon her misguided actions. So ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness how not to behave when being cited by the police. So take notes. <laughs> Let the games begin. Being in the park because you're from out of town. And what's your back number? 7452. What's your name? Officer Brooks. What's your first name? I'm not, I'm not gonna give you my first name. Okay, and I don't have to sign this, right? You do have to sign it. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Well, like I explained to him, if you don't sign it, then you're going to be physically taken to jail. That's you. So you're refusing to sign? Yes, and you know it What's your name? Officer Brooks, 7452. Uh, what did she do? <laughs> Googling, posting, blobbing. What's the badge number? I gave it to you two times. Okay, I'm asking again. And I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Are you going to sign it? No, because I want your badge number. Wrong answer. Oh, she's about to find out. Yep. Here we go. You want to put your hands behind your back for me? Too late, bro. Too late. Hey, listen, man. She says she's not signing. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, you're hurting me. Okay. I'm asking you to put your hands behind your back. Now notice the deer in the headlights look. <laughs> now that is a look of, uh-oh, my bluff has been called. Oh, you for real, Mr. Officer? I was just playing. I'll sign it now, Mr. Officer. <laughs> Too late, sister. It's over. It just got real. And you are about to witness when keeping it real goes bad. Sorry. Man, put your hand behind your back. Come on. I need you to back up. 
I'm just saying. Like, I need you to back up. You don't need to touch her like that. She's, she's, she's not putting her hands behind her back. I'm asking. I'm asking the question. I'm just all I'm doing is asking. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind you. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. I asked you to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I, but, sir, put your hands I, I'm your asking back. you a question. Okay. I'm letting you know. I'm not going to ask you again. Mm -hmm. Force me to put your hands behind your back. But, sir, <laughs> Mr. Brooks, is this really Mr. necessary? Brooks, Mr. Brooks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, listen, my she man. She needs a good. She needs a good. Can I? Okay, you can put your phone down. Okay, Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks. Oh, my God. Hold on. Put your hands behind your back. I tell you. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that I'm refusing to sign the ticket. I'm going to no, sign the ticket. You don't have an option. That option is off the because table. I'm, I'm, but I'm going to sign the ticket, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. No. I'm going to sign the ticket. I know, but I'm going to sign. Put your hands behind your back. Mr. Brooks, I'm going to sign. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to sign. Why am I putting my hands behind my back? I'm going to sign. You're under arrest. I'm going to sign. Mr. Brooks, why am I under arrest? I'm going to sign the ticket, but why am I under arrest? Why am I under arrest? I'm going to sign the ticket. I'm going to sign the ticket, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. You asked me to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I'm going to sign the ticket now, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. Why don't I have the option, Mr. Brooks? I gave you two options. I'm asking for your badge number, and I wasn't clear on why you weren't giving me my badge number. Sir, you do not have to call me like that. Oh, my God. Sir, you're doing the hard way. I'm I'm you could have did it the easy way. I'm now you're doing it the hard way. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to sign the ticket, Mr. I'm going to sign the ticket. Why am I being arrested? Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, so yeah. In the name of Jesus, please, God, in the name. Why am I being arrested, Mr. Brooks? I'm going to sign the ticket. This is all on you, sister. This ain't Mr. Brooks, why am I being arrested? Why am I being arrested? I don't understand why I'm being arrested. Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Tell me why I'm being arrested. I have the right. I have the right to know. Oh my God! Put your hands behind your back. Hysteria, sister. It comes to hysteria, ladies and gentlemen. And the victimhood. Kicks it. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> victim mode. I go into victim mode. I go into hysteria. Oh yeah. Why am I being arrested? Let's put your up in the fetal Just position. Put your hands behind your back. Don't worry, we will explain it to you down at the jail. You have not given me a reason. <laughs> so why am I getting a, I'm not finna. You haven't told me the no, race or told me why I've been arrested. That's exactly why I'm not. What is, I just told you. Why? Why you am I being arrested? I told you mm -hmm. I was going to sign the ticket. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when your attitude gets out of the box. <laughs> These police officers ain't got time for this. <laughs> All of this could have been a boy. All of this could have been a boy. Unbelievable. Oh my God. <laughs> Lord have mercy. All of that. Two minutes and it would have been over. Oh my God. Can I have my phone? Can I have my phone? <laughs> Unbelievable. Two minutes and all of that could have been over. Ladies and gentlemen, when dealing with the police, your attitude can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Now, there's a saying that goes, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to what happens to you. So do not mimic this woman's 90% whatever you do. Even if you believe that every one of your civil rights have been violated, it is in your best interest, as we have just witnessed, to keep your composure, comply with the officer's directives, and live another day to fight your battle in court if you deem it necessary. You cannot win out in them streets. So keep your cool and don't be a fool. That's Uncle June's golden rule. Till next time, peace.